Okay, so what I got going on here is a small battery, two 10 watt solar panels running in series to produce about 42 volts. Now this here is a 20 watt resistive light load imposed on this battery right now, which was holding about 12.7 this morning, 12.8 after having been charged yesterday. So you can see under load, it just dropped from 12.44 and it's been running for about, oh, I don't know, two or three, well, five minutes, I'd say. So it's uh, it's kind of hitting its operational plateau at around 12.4. And I got solar energy coming into these, which buffer its ability a bit. I also have a resistor, about a 2K resistor, tied on my Tesla switch, uh, tied across um, an arbitrary uh, BC. Uh, that's just because when I find when you run on solar energy if the if the sun goes behind a deep cloud your oscillator can fall out of oscillation fairly easily so I tie some to, to give an additional trigger I put that on there okay so now I have this basically wide open because I'm not worried about extra current there's only so much current that you know can be produced so let's just fire it up with the load running just out of curiosity I've never actually done this so we can hear I don't even know if it is running to be honest it must be though because the voltage has stepped up somewhat Now I have the ammeter hooked up backwards here, unfortunately. So it's not going to tell us much. I tend to not believe any of these meters really. Okay, so I just disconnected the ammeter. And we've gone from 12.46, okay? Now, keep in mind our load is running all the, the whole time, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this back. a little nasty. Ah. Can't get this, sorry. This really want to get set up here. Here we go. Okay, so now we're fired up again. Remember that this battery was running this load at about 12.44. Now it's running it at about 12.49. Let's just see what the ammeter says, although I don't tend to believe these things. Under these circumstances, because of the bizarre waveform and whatnot. What does that say? That's telling us one, two, three, four, five. We got three, approximately 300 milliamps going in. Of course we don't know what's coming out of the panels but you can bet that it's probably about four. And the reason I say that is if you look on the back of the panel it's absolutely short circuit current 600 milliamps. It's rated current which is a maximum basically is 568 Okay, now, of course I could do a short circuit test, but I'm not going to do that right now for the sake of this video. It's not bad. And the whole point of this is that it's better than what I experienced when I just tried to have a Bedini solid state setup. Uh, in other words, SS, SSG, running on a single 12 volt panel, uh, running the device and 
I suspect and have suspected all along that all variants of Bedini circuits should be running on 24 volts, not 12. And my reason behind that is if you look at the H wave on the scope, you'll see that the current is under voltage a fair amount of the time. Now, if you believe in the theory of radiant energy and that a Bedini circuit can impart that radiant energy, then that's a whole different thing, okay? But just from a conventional charging point of view, there is too much time in the H wave where it's under voltage. And the other thing that sort of makes me believe that is that the John Bedini circuits that are available are A, solid state, B, 24 volt power supply. <laughs> and he began to experiment with this in around 2004, I'm told by an online friend. So it's, it's quite possible that this isn't far off of, of what's going on. Now my meter is, is getting screwed up from sitting in the sun, but we're sitting at 12.5 now. So it would appear that we're actually charging even though we're imparting on a, on a 20 watt load. And let's just see. Now I wish you could see this, but the, the sun has blacked out my meter because it was shining right at it. So this is climbing. It's at 12.59. I'm sorry about this. This is 12.72, 12.73. Now all I've done here is I shut off the load. 12.75. 12.76 okay and I'll just I'll just leave this for a minute and we'll just have a look at where it's going to recover to but it, it, it's a good setup for me the the key things we're having a fair amount of capacity here um, what do I got there I've got uh, 30,000 microfarad and um, Essentially, uh, if you don't have a ton of solar panels, like this is just a, a small setup, I would say run it wide open. I'm running on the Tesla switch oscillator, I'm running uh, two 100 watt resistors in parallel, so I believe that's, or sorry, 100 ohm resistors, so about 50 ohms resistance. Um, and you can see that I'm up shit what a, that's too bad but I'm up I'm up to 12.919 or no I don't know 91 or 97 it's climbing it's climbing very respectively so it would almost appear that I could have this set up uh, charging and running 20 watt load which is kinda what you would expect I mean there's 20 watts worth of solar panels but uh, the point being is, is the efficiency is there better than running an SSG under the sun with a 12 volt panel. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys because I've been playing around with this. And uh, bottom line is it works pretty good. I mean, I've been running this. Uh, I wish you could see this, but I've been running this thing now for oh 10 or 15 minutes and. I'm up over, uh, right away I'm up over 13 volts on my battery again so you know it's I don't know it's fairly efficient and a lot of people say well why would you go to all that bother why wouldn't you just do a solar charge controller well for one thing you can restore batteries this way uh, conditioned batteries and it's my personal belief that you know as I move on that this is a better way to charge batteries it's a healthier way to charge batteries and the charging effects are, are pretty profound. I'll, I'll try to do another another one where we, we take a 100 amp hour battery. And I'll take two sixes, Trojan style or some Exides. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll charge them from 11 volts. But anyways, thought I'd share this setup with you guys. Thanks for watching.